Just two weeks out from kickoff versus Rice is the Razorbacks' offense on breakout watch in the SEC. After some sluggish and sloppy seasons, the Hogs took a step forward last year with a 392-yard and 26-point-per-game pace. Felipe Franks is out, but are the pieces finally coming together for an effective attack? A crucial part of this puzzle is the play of K.J. Jefferson, as the 6'3", 240 passer takes the torch as the starter. In the pass-friendly offense orchestrated by O.C. Kendall Bryles, success in year two of his system may all start with Jefferson's arm. Whenever K.J. had some opportunities last year to play and then when we had scrimmages in the spring, he was, he was very accurate. I really like where he's at from a practice standpoint. And I've told him since last spring, I think 235 is the best weight for him. I don't care if he's 285 as long as he's dropping dimes on people and getting away from pressure. So I like where he's at. He feels comfortable. It all comes down to the quarterback being smart. The pocket uh, collapse, knowing how to get out, extend plays, keep your eyes down the field, maybe get the ball out. Focus on being aggressive down the field, taking uh, shots. The dadgum, he's a big kid. He's going to be tough to bring down. He's still very active with his feet. So I feel like we're right where we need to be at camp. I'm proud of where he's at right now. Jefferson will have the tools at his disposal to match the hype on the hill. Sam Pittman is an offensive line coach by trade, and the unit up front returns all five starters, highlighted by guard Brady Latham. Running back Traylon Smith burst onto the scene in 2020 and is back, along with others in the rotation. Hudson Henry looks to lock down the tight end spot, and the receiver room is oozing with potential. While Mike Woods transferred, Trey Knox and Davion Warren are healthy and solid options. While top dog on the outside, Traylon Burks looks to be one of the best wideouts in the entire conference. Coming along strong. Feel really good about that group. Obviously, Burks is, is a leader in there, but we've got some other guys that have played some that are back. We've got a lot of returning guys, you know, obviously when you lose a guy like Felipe. But I feel like my teammates, they're, they're just done push me to, I know, hey, KJ, you know you can do this. Like, we need you to be a big time quarterback. Motivation and just keep pushing me along and helping me with my leadership skills. Nick Walters, Fox 16.